Uh, yes, I will. And this is what I consider the um, official end of the chapter, I guess you could say, because this is where it transitions into the uh, mandatory Peach and Bowser segments. And here we are. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought, uh, we thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. Who what who? Who where? Who? Oh. I was hoping it was not an, I, mean, I was hoping it wasn't a fourth wall break again. That could have been disastrous. What is it, sir? Uh, tell the sh shadow sirens to attack Mario again and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. X not away. I have one crystal star in my hands and Mario has 5. I must take some measures. What measures could they be? Who knows, but it's peach time! Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. It looks very annoyed. Da, 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 da. Tech, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Gronus's room and look up, look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Gronus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. That's not true. We've just seen other people go in and out of there in other chapters. Oh, forget it. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside, outside the room that permit no entry. I guess maybe he means when, there's, when he's away and no one's allowed in there. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really. Ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Alrighty. Can I speak with you more? Can I? No? Okay, just wanted to check. So, yeah. Let's go through the hallway again. Da 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 la 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 la. Into the elevator. I'm sure you remember this. We're stopping. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. What if I go this way? Not that way. Okay. <laughs> there are guards in that room, Princess Peach. Please head up, head in the opposite direction. Head for the room with the green lamp above it. Alright, so yeah, you can't go through there at the moment. Can't go through any any doors that are that have a red above it, just all locked. Yep, so keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, this is locked too. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, here's the door. What if we go past that door? Like, say, if we went in here. Oh, we can't do that either. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Hmm, got some potions? Chemistry room, huh? Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. Huh? You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus' room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, oh, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all the potions on the desk in the... Concoctionator? I don't know that word. <laughs> it's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memo memos left in this room by the x naught researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Listen to the music. Recognize it? <laughs> yep, we're cooking. Anyway, there's a, a memo over here. Notes. Place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. This is basically a uh, logic puzzle of sorts here. And I, I should actually get a pad of paper. Hold on. 
but I don't really remember the uh, uh, solution to this. So hold on, let me read this again, okay. Orange between blue and green. Next note. Note, do not place the red potion on the far right. No red on the far right. Note, place the blue potion next to the red potion. Note, place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Alright, based off of this logic puzzle, my determination is that the solution is red, blue, yellow, green. However, if you get this wrong, some interesting and fun effects happen. So, let's put them in the wrong order here and see what we can come up with. Very well. And please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. Bloop. Now press the A button when the potion goes inside each of these. Please press the button when the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Just, just a little bit of teeny bit of timing to go here. See it stops, press the button, stops, press the button, stops, press the button. Very, very easy to do. Oh, forgot about that. <laughs> Still gotta, still gotta follow the order of stuff. Mm -hmm. La 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 la. Do, 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 do. Gotta watch carefully. Gotta watch carefully. Okay, this one's gonna fail. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. I'm watching the camera time. It's kind of cheating though. <laughs> la, 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 la. Watching the time. Okay, I should probably just cut ahead. Alright. Even though this is clearly a failed potion, I just want to go through all the steps you see, which you have to go through in order to do this here. Alright. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Just say yes, even though it's wrong. I know. <laughs> Very good. And please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. So we do. We shrunk. <laughs> huh? Eek? What's going on? What's happening to me? How oh, unfortunate. It looks like it was unsuccessful. Please do it again. No! Say, let's do a different combination this time. back to normal <laughs> all right this time we've got this grayish blackish looking potion mm, looks delightful yes yes let's see what happens if we drink this one mm. oh he shrunk again really well that's sad I wanted to show I mean if there have if there was something else oh Alright, this time I decided to try overcooking it. Let's see if we get a different result this time. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yep, yep, yep. Drink, drink. Now. Go. Mm. Why do I keep shrinking? I thought there was more, than, more effects than just this. I don't know. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Huh? Eek! What's going on? What's happening to me? <laughs> oh, unfortunate. It looks like it was unsuccessful. Please do it again. And that's the combination that you get when you put them in the right order and then overcook it, I guess you could say. So, yeah, anyway, let's. Uh, wait for her. Well, I guess I don't have to wait for her to go uh, back and shrink down. All right, this time I'm going to do this properly from the start without any cuts. She's really in the way there. Okay. <laughs> all right, so all the potions are in the right order. Red, blue, orange, green. I don't know why I said yellow before. It's just, <laughs> just something that I made a mistake. I don't know. Sometimes I question my own sanity. <laughs> anyway, the, the rhythm here is just to wait for it to stop and then press the button wherever it is like it's gonna stop here it's gonna go back over here and then it's gonna skip to this order is always the same 
no matter how many times you go through this, I would know, because as you've seen, I was playing around with this enough times, then you see it skips that one, it goes over here, then it goes over here, and then the baking process starts. So I'm gonna, again, count the 30 uh, while it's cooking on ye old camera here. So I'll see you in about 30 seconds. Well, sooner now. Three, two, one, and stop. It looks good this time. Bright, cheerful, and delicious. And my calculations should be finished, but you did come out correctly, do you think? Yes, I'm sure of it this time. Very good. Then please drink it, all of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. My head is a beacon! No, wait, actually, no. And you can just see through her. <laughs> but I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. Not kid-friendly! Again! <laughs> what? That's indecent! No way! Well, fine. I guess if it's the only way. And so she does. <laughs> she undresses off camera. And she's nude. <laughs> and you go into Sir Grotus's room. First locate the disc with the recorded data. Then insert that disc into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please, go to Sir Grotus's room. Alright. Ah, the air, it's so invigorating. In places. Ooh, uh, uh, oh, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? <laughs> and yeah, you can't talk to people, obviously. And uh, yeah, you still can't go through doors, unfortunately. So let's just move on from here and see if anyone notices a shadow going across the ground. Mm -hmm. oh. Seems to stop him, but he doesn't have anything to say about it. Elite x naught. Nothing? Oh, fine. <laughs> That's too bad. It's too bad. So yeah, it's impossible to actually get caught uh, at any point in time because you're constantly directed either by tech or by uh, the game just being, or, I mean, the game just making everything seem oblivious of you and whatnot. So uh, here we are in the room. Ooh, there's a little yucks up there. Can't check the computer. Can't talk to the yucks, can I? No. Uh? <laughs> This must be Grotus's room. Now, where is that disc? Hmm, let's look around here. Let's take a look, look, see at this place before we go any further. Found it. This must be it. Data disc. What kind of data is on it? Um. Oh yeah. Now I insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. I guess there's not really much to show about this room, but you can see that the shadow actually goes uh, through the plush, and this is, this might very well be where the fish are coming from. <laughs> anyway, data disc. <laughs> I did it! Yes, I did it! It's working! By the way, that was, uh, it, it looked like a Famicom disc, Famicom disc, excuse me. <clears throat> you look what's on the screen there. <laughs> looks awfully familiar. Hmm. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. And so we do. There, that guy was never here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, there's nothing else to check in this room, unfortunately, at least as far as I know. Can't check the plan, can't check the computer, bookshelf, clear, we did that. Can't ch talk to that, it's sad, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's just move on. Back to the room. Doo -doo -doo. You know, the uh, chemistry room, of course. Can't go back while invisible and naked, of course. <laughs> Do, 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 do. La, la, la. And see, no one, no one seems to notice, or they just happen to stop before they reach the shadow just because they want to. That's my only explanation to explain it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, back in the room. The solution to get back to being visible is actually very simple. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. 
Now, I will teach you how to become invisible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert back to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. She got her put on her, put on her clothes first. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? La 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 la. What if I drink this one? <laughs> Incorrect, it's a speech that potion will not revert you back to normal. Aww. 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 Okay. <laughs> what a relief! I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. That was, there was never any danger of that. Now please, return to the computer room. Alright, let's do so. Do -do 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 -do. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it is correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please, use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good, I'll use the computer. Communicator, thanks. tickety tack 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 written my message. Would you send it? So it is written. The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. I really hope that you can't see me nude while invisible. <laughs> Princess Peach, I will protect you. Hmm? Interesting. Now on the other side of the Between Traptors transition period. Uh oh! <laughs> I see Crump, I see Bowser. Ah, what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out! The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be a treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. Hmm. Let's look around town. Hmm. I'm dreaming. Yep. Just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. <laughs> huh? C crystal star. I have no idea. Really? Please spare me. <laughs> Can I go inside buildings? Aw, oh, I'm too big. No, 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 I'm gonna be turned into a pig again. <laughs> yeah. You know, I bet the laundry never dries around here. Oh, what is that? Oh, just catch one of these weirdos and make them t tell where the crystal star is. Okay. Yes, I'm ignoring Crump for a reason here. <laughs> Alas, we can't go to other portion of, of the town. We are trapped here. Somehow, some way. <laughs> can I talk to the crows? Well, I can, but they don't have much to say. Alright, let's just talk to Lord Crump here. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Hmm? Hmm? Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell soup. Hot diggity dog! Boo! Boo! Oh, oh, oh. The look of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. <laughs> you are a suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Boo! Somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You're looking for crystal stars too? Sweet! This'll help the crumb come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Oh, there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of? You? Buh, uh, buh, uh, if you think you're gonna take me, then try it, chubby. All troops, report! Oh, boy! Buh, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? 
<laughs> Did it scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Oh boy, it's incompetent leader versus incompetent leader. <laughs> Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dorks. Super Bomb Bomb! Incoming! Oh! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! Oh, this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. No, Bowser! No! Oh, crud! <laughs> oh, Bowser. Why? Why? All right. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Sweet! Ah, many thanks to you. The ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, can't wait to get home. we have been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real. Now let's get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to then. Am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think I like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Oh, Hey Mario, gotta give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm quite sure they'll be fine on their own. Come now, Mario, let's go. Ready, amigos? Cast off! And so they do. Back to Rogueport. <laughs> the hole is still in the island. With the torn paper rolled up. Woo! Monstar Day Circle. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end, huh? The ship sailed smoothly on Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless. Strange though as it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes, even now I hear the crew readying the to dock. This time to ripe is to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you, Flavio. Hmm. Rogueport! At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return it all, huh? But of course, you know how you know all that and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. Whoa, they're all here. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What? Hey, were you all leaving already? Uh, that was harsh. <laughs> Looking in the background. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue, continue your own adventure, also, huh? <laughs> One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It's not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, ah. Huh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kilal Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow. Comprende? <laughs> Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. <clears throat> well, my adoring fans have gone, so I'll be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I will permit you to say hello to me. Maybe we meet again, eh? Yeah? Alright. Well, that's that, Mario. I suppose we should go too. Let's make for the door. Alright, let's do so. So I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Mario, but those dulcet tones, that dear Princess Peach has sent you an email. Man, I guess I'll read it. <laughs> Dearest Mario, I have 
good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of these friends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strangely to me, some I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. All right. Mercy me. The princess is quite the goal getter. Hmm? Let's get to work as well. All right. Now I'm ending off the part. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. See you then in the next part, hopefully. <laughs>